I am the doctrine man, clandestine man of mystery. Irony is my middle name. For those about to watch, I salute you. Today, you will learn the deepest, darkest secrets of the language of doctrine. These are the secrets known only to a hallowed few, from the depths of doctrine man's vault of knowledge. Today, you will learn the doctrine alphabet. A is for asymmetrical warfare. You don't know what it means, but it's damn sexy, so you use it anyway. Often used in inverse proportion to one's PT test score. B is for battle command. C also command and control with a cigar. Look for this one in the crapper, flushed away with all the other perfectly good terms. C is for command and control. C also, battle command. Another perfectly good term thrown into the burn pit of knowledge. D is for dislocate. What an infantry man will do to your shoulder if you try to take away his box of porn. You will only make this mistake once. E is for enemy. The enemy is everywhere. And nowhere. The enemy is an email system that makes you change your 16 character alphanumeric password every 150 days. The enemy is a network that shuts down your computer 5 seconds before you can recall that reply all email you send, saying you saw your boss's wife in a donkey show in Juarez. The letter F is for forward operating base. The mythical land of Oz. The gates of heaven. The home of Charlie Med. The FOB is populated by irritating creatures known as Fobbits. G is for gaggle. A formation of ass kissing. Self-important fobbits usually found congregated around the coffee pot every morning in the talk. No soup for you. H is for Hellfire Missile. America's favorite calling card for insurgents everywhere. Pucker up buttercup. Your ass will be on YouTube tonight. I is for insurgent. The end product of centuries of inbreeding. A constant source of pain and irritation. See also, hemorrhoid. J is for Joint Doctrine. It's so easy, a caveman could do it. Just hire a contractor and pay him twice what he is worth to copy from an army manual. Purple cover mandatory. The letter K is for Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is a delicious and powerful tonic and is often seen being consumed by the intellectually inferior. See also, Design, Missile Command, and Asymmetrical Warfare. L is for Leader. Like a good cop, there is never one around when you need one. The best leaders are always in somebody else's headquarters. M is for Missile Command. It's not just an 80s video game, it's a leadership philosophy. It's a center of excellence. It's Mondo Cool with mad skills. It's 21st century command and control with a twist of lime. N is for Non-Combatant. Also known as a female NGO in low-rise genes. A hot chick with a college degree. Save her at all costs. O is for operation. A mission. A board game. It used to mean something. Now it's the most overused term in the doctrine alphabet. P is for planner. The fall guy. The headless horseman. Dead Carl's debutante. The black hole of blame. Avoid this job at all costs. Q is for quay. A structure of solid construction along a shore or bank that provides berthing and generally provides cargo handling facilities. Wake up you moron. That was a real one to make sure you were still paying attention. R is for rules of engagement. Ask politely before you shoot the guy with the rocket launcher. Hey, he may want to buy you lunch. Probably not, but good manners should always be your guide in operations among the people. S is for show of force. Nothing says inshallah, more than a 20 pound warhead on a hellfire missile. See also, come to Jesus meeting. T is for tactics. See the joint definition for this term. Read it aloud to yourself and try not to use the phrase, what the fuck? Good luck with that one. You heard it here first. U is for unconventional. See also irregular. Everything that is not conventional is unconventional. Everything that is not regular is irregular. If that isn't clear enough to you, jump the fence at SOCOM headquarters and you will receive a personal lesson in the unconventional. V is for versatility. See also adaptability, agility, flexibility. Gumby never had it so bad. 
Welcome to the world of the modern warrior monk. Start your yoga lessons now boys and girls, it's going to be a long war. W is for war fighting function. The battlefield operating systems weren't good enough, so we bastardized a cool marine term with retarded joint language. No wonder they won't write doctrine with us anymore. Total. Face. Pump. X is for exclusive. That's what we tell the media we'll give them for covering some lame ass snooze fest of a story. And we wonder why they write crap about us that make public affairs officers cry. Why is for yo mama? Yo mama is so fat she shows up on radar. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Z is not in the doctrine alphabet. Doctrine writers refuse to use words that start with the letter Z. Don't believe me? Check for yourself. You'll see. Today's lesson was sponsored by the letters I and D, the number 10, and the letter T. Next week, we'll visit a squelch oil refinery and a tool factory that specializes in left-handed wrenches.